Okay, today we're working on the boat. We're replacing the winch. This is the Fulton XLT series. This is about, a, I think it's an 1800 pound winch. The problem with these, I replaced several of these on other boats before, but this handle eventually strips out this bolt. And so you get to the, the boat ramp, you're trying to winch up your boat, and this is stripped out, it's rounded out. And it can be frustrating. So we're replacing this winch with the the Fulton F2 is a 2,000 pound winch. I've had this on several boats and it's been, it's worked great. It's, it's less prone to stripping out the handle, bigger capacity, easier to switch forward and backward mode. So I'm gonna show you how we do this here. So first step here, we're just taking out a bolt here. Took out the bolt there that dropped the drum down. And we just, we're just taking out this bolt right here. And then, now we're taking off the bolt to the handle take that off now we'll be able to remove this black cover because under here there's a few bolts that we need to get to okay uh, with the the bolt with this bolt removed the handle removed and this side bolt removed this was a a 15 a 19 and a 13 millimeter this basically just comes off just slip it through there so this cover comes off and if you see there's two bolts here, there's two in the front and one in the middle. You just have to get an, you just need to get an open-ended wrench in there and then take it off from underneath here. Okay, to remove these bolts, you just need 916 ratchet and open-ended wrench. To get to this middle one though, the drum has to be out. That's why you need to remove that side bolt. This one you can't access underneath, it's right into the post. So it just it's just a screw in there. These are a nut and bolt. 9 16 will back that out. Okay, then we got the new one unboxed. It doesn't have this strap wrapped around the drum, which is good, so we can get into that, that screw in the middle. Then it just comes with the, the handle, handle assembly, the strap. We'll put that on once we get this on. So we'll just set this one up there. <clears throat> I like this because it has, you can attach the handle to either side. And the way the handle attaches, it's less likely to strip out. So you can really crank it down. You don't have to worry about stripping the handle out like you can on the other one. Okay, this is just the underside of it here. It comes with these bolts. So it comes with a kind of a squared off bolt. So that way you don't have to uh, put a wrench on top of this. Basically all you do is you slip it in through here and then that squared off part of the nut holds it so that way you can just tighten the nut from underneath. So we're gonna get these two on first and then we'll work on the center. So here, yeah, those are our two mining bolts in the front. Put it on and then do the middle one. Okay, as you get the two front bolts, one, one uh, trick to these two is there's a little washer that, that prevents the, the square to drop down into the slot. So what you have to do is you have to kind of, kind of have to prop, hold this up a little so that way the, the squared part of the screw drops in the slot and then screw it down. So now I just, uh, you have to take out this little front cover, there's a little Torx bit screw that takes this off. And if you see down in the hole there, we just have to put in the screw from the top. Okay, to be able to tighten down that middle screw, it help, it's helpful to have a wobble extension so that way that you can get a socket on that. I'll hand tighten it here. Okay, then I'll just get the socket out, the wrench out, and tighten that down. Okay, now we have all three bolts tightened. Now we're going to install the strap. The strap comes through the back here. It goes through the slot, and then we put a metal round piece in there to keep it from sliding. Okay, if you see here, I've slid the strap through the, the slot in there, and then we just take this piece here, and we slide it into the end of the strap. That way the strap can't be pulled okay, out. Okay, we have the we have the metal piece in there. And if you see how that is holding it, that metal metal rod inside the strap is holding it from coming back out. So when we get the handle installed, we'll just wind up the slap. Okay, to assemble the handle here, you put the large washer 
in the bolt through the handle. And then there's a sleeve that goes over that. That allows the handle to be able to move. The handle goes on this end. And then you put this you put this washer in through here and it just and then you just use your 916 socket to tighten that and now down. we have the handle assembled we can choose which side you want to mount it on this side or this side and there's different mounting hole locations so if you need like extra clearance if you want to have a bigger circle then you can do it you know on the uh, lower or upper you can change how basically how far one revolution cranks the the winch so we're going to start install it here on the right side, and we'll do it on the, the lowest mounting bolt possible. All right, we installed it here on the right side. The screw just goes in here, but if you see it, this, this nut here goes into the handle. So that's why this is so sturdy and, and not likely to be able to strip out. That's why this is, this is why I really like this winch. So now all I gotta do is just tighten this bolt down, and then I can start taking up the slack of the of the winch line or the strap start wrapping around. Right, this is a half inch bolt okay got the handle on now I'm just gonna start winching up the strap and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold with one hand I'm gonna hold the strap tight that way it doesn't that way it wraps around the drum tight. On the other hand, I'm just going to winch it here. The nice thing about the operation of this is just a simple twist knob here. So here's neutral, so you can go either frontward or backwards, and then here would be uh, forward if you want the strap to go out. This will actually be reverse to wrap the strap up. So I'm going to get that wrapped up, and then we'll get everything buttoned up, and we're good to go. Okay, I used the neutral setting to wind it up, so that way it's not clicking the whole time. I've connected to the bow eye of the boat. And so now that it's connected to the boat, now I'm just gonna, on the neutral setting, I'm just gonna wind it up here until it gets tight. So it's just taking all the slack out of the drum now. I wanna get this tight. Okay, so now I have it in the uh, wind up position. So I'm just giving it a lot down so now this is just makes it easy you know this is going to be to wind up the strap this is to let it out and then neutral you can go either way so now i'm just gonna put this plate on okay got this all buttoned up have everything tightened down the straps on the bow eye one thing you want to be aware of when you do any kind of new winch on the front of a boat is the next time you take it out my particular boat has to be this bow eye needs to be right against the roller. So once you once you kind of winch it up, you want to do that a couple times just so that you get this strap on the drum really tight. Otherwise, when you pull out of the water, it could the boat could slide back on the trailer. So just be aware of that the first couple times you use it and just retighten it down a couple times. A little bit a little bit more than what you think just so it doesn't move on you but once you get it broken in like that this is an awesome winch this is a 2000 pound this is the Fulton F2 and I'm excited to use it now thanks for watching be sure to subscribe